Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Pearl and I collect beauty products. I thought it was about time for me to use the makeup instead of just hoarding them. If you'd like to join me on this journey, then please keep on watching. Today I have an Ulta haul for you. I thought I would put on my face the items I purchased from Ulta. So far I have foundation and powder on my face and we'll go ahead with the things that I purchased from Ulta. First off, I purchased this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this is in the color Ash Brown. This is what it looks like. And this is the, the eyebrow pencil. I've never used NYX, but I've heard good things about it. So, and it's got a spoolie on the end, which is nice. So I'm gonna try drawing this onto my eyebrows. So far, so good. I like the little stick, the pointy part of this pencil. Oh, and it's easy to use and it goes on smoothly. I wonder if it'll stay smooth or how long it'll stay on my face because I have an oily combo face. Hmm, so far so good, I like it. Hey, what do you think? Not bad for a couple dollars, huh? I've been using the Hourglass and that's like $30, so maybe it's time for me to switch over to the NYX. Okay, next I have the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette here. I got this while it was like 40% off. Here's what the outer packaging looks like, it's gorgeous. See, there's a little bump in the middle. And this is what the palette looks like. Pretty, right? So today I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It says Strip Poker and I'm gonna use that all over my lid. I'm using my Wayne Goss number 16 brush. And I'll use that as my transition shade on my lid. Now there's some kickback, so make sure you tap the excess off. It kind of smells like chocolate. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker shade. I think I'm gonna use this Cashmere Bunny, this color right here, and use that on the outer corner of my eye. Just place it. And then bring it in a little bit onto my lid where my crease should be. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a flatter brush. Here I'm using the Sonia G, let's see, this is the Worker Pro brush, and I'm gonna take this pink shade right here, and I'm gonna put it all over my lid. This is called the Silk Teddy. I'm gonna put this on my lid. I'm just kind of tapping that on. I'm putting it on the first inner two thirds of my eyelid. And then I'm gonna go back with my original brush, and I'm gonna blend that all out. Then I wanna go in with another flat brush. This is the Sonia G Builder 3 brush. This is what that looks like. And I'm gonna go into this top shade here, which is called Heaven, and I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. Hmm, this might be a little too white for me, but we'll make it work. And then I'm gonna go back in with my original blender brush and try to blend that out so that there's no line of demarcation there. Okay, what do we think? I'm gonna take my pencil brush, which is the Wayne Goss number five, and I'm gonna go into this dark color. It's called Chocolate Martini, this one down here. And I'm gonna line the outer third of my upper and lower lash line. If you look closely, I have a little bit of fallout. So I'm gonna brush that away. I don't have any new um, mascara, so I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. I have mascara on and black on the top portion of my waterline and something neutral on the bottom. And what I'm gonna use next is a Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This is what that looks like. Here's the Too Faced Palette. Natural Face, it's very similar to the Natural Eyes. And this is what the inside looks like. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my highlight on first and I'm gonna use the satin sheets right here and take my Sonia G Detail Pro Brush. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna take that, put that on my cheeks. Put that on my cheeks, a little bit down my nose, upper lip, and a little bit down here. Next, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer and I'm gonna use the Sunny Honey, this color right up on top. And I need to be careful not to move all the foundation and concealer that I've used to try to hide my hyperpigmentation. So I'm just gonna kinda tap that in there instead of rubbing it. Now the reason I like to put the highlighter on first is because I like that to be well blended with my blush when I put that on. Then I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss 25S, his synthetic brush, and use this for my blush. And I'm gonna use this bottom color here called Pink Sand. And put that onto my cheekbones. See, I like the way that um, blends with the highlighter so you can't see where one ends and the other begins. Next, I also purchased a Becca lip liner. Here's what that looks like. And the color I have here is Pout. And this is what it looks like. Here's what the color looks like on. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna use that all over my lip to line my lips and to color it in a little bit. Now the lipstick I got with it is also the Becca, a Becca lipstick, and I got this in Tawny. Here's what the packaging looks like. You open it up, and here's what the color Tawny looks like. Doesn't that seem to go together very well? So put this on. And there you have it. I usually like a glossy lip, so the last thing I purchased was the Urban Decay Hi, hi fi shine. This is what the outer packaging looks like. And I got mine in the color Fuel. Here's what the package actually looks like. Hi shine. And then you can see the color there. This is what this color looks like. And I'm going to put this over my lipstick. This kind of has a minty flavor to it, just so you're aware. And there you have it. So this is my final face of the Ulta products I picked up. Let me give you my final thoughts. This NYX eyebrow pencil I like a lot, especially for the price point. So go out and get the face palette and the eyes palette are neutral enough for every day. And then all the lip products that I have here I think are great. And here's the final look. What do you think? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.